Hello and welcome to all of you wonderfully audacious people out there. I'm Adam. It's great to be with you today. I hope you are all rejoicing and being glad in this new day that the Lord has made. That sounds a little bit like a Bible verse, doesn't it? Well, full marks to those that did indeed get that since it's Psalms 118 verse 24. And if you want to hear the full piece of scripture, I'll quickly give you the New King James Version. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And I'll go ahead and presume you all gave a hearty amen to that. <laughs> now, it can certainly be hard to feel in a joyous mood some days. It could be that you've woken up feeling achy, your dog started barking about 15 minutes before your alarm was due to go off. Maybe there's something big awaiting you that day that you're just not in the mood to tackle. You're just not looking forward to it at all. Or it could be something more tragic that's happened. Yes, there are times in life where things hit really hard. Like the passing of someone that's near and dear to you. The family is directly involved, suffering with the loss of a loved one. Close friends and members of teams and groups that knew the person, ruminating, going over what happened. But this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice. It can be a really hard pill to swallow. But each day we draw breath. That's the breath of God that is keeping us alive, for which we give thanks and we rejoice each and every day. Also, we must remember that for circumstances related to those that have passed away, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 4 says, after that necessary time for mourning, there's indeed a time for dancing. And after all the weeping, there's a time for laughing. Why is that, though? It might sound really strange. Well, let me give you an example of a particularly recent instance. The loss of our dear friend, Marie Ross, one of the mothers of Alpha, as we endearingly called her. She was so bright and happy all the time. She was a real spark of joy in our midst. And she was someone who would cheer everyone up, even in the darkest and hardest of situations. And my, oh my, how we laughed at some of her antics. <laughs> Especially one time where she totally got me out of the mire by saying something com completely random to someone that was not particularly happy. <laughs> she was definitely a light in the darkness. That is why we rejoice, even in the sad times. Because of those happy moments that will still live on long after death. Yet there's also another reason to rejoice. And that's in the way that things came about in this particular situation. You could easily get stuck in a place of sadness because of what happened to dear Marie. But from the tragedy, we take a step back. And we look at how Marie was actually serving God until her very last moment. At which point, a split second later... She was being told by her father in heaven, well done, good and faithful servant. As the Bible puts it, paraphrasing from Matthew 25, she had been faithful and trustworthy over a little. So had been put in charge of many things through her time on the Alpha course, going from being a guest to being an unforgettable part of the core team. Now, how amazing is that? Let me share the full quote, Matthew chapter 25, verse 21a, Amplified Version. His master said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful and trustworthy over a little. I will put you in charge of many things. Share in the joy of your master. Amen. It's certainly something to aspire to, right? Marie was faithful and trustworthy with the little. 
And suddenly she was given the chance to take charge of many things and shared in the joy of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And it's that joy that was her strength and that joy that rubbed off on others, helping them to be stronger as well. Now, this shouldn't come as a surprise, since after all, it says in Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10b, again, amplified version. Do not be worried, for the joy of the Lord is your strength and your stronghold. Amen to that, definitely. There is a stability that comes from staying in the Lord no matter what. Struggling with any technical issues? Rejoice. Be glad and have the joy of the Lord. Facing difficult people that are trying to shake you? Rejoice, be glad and have the joy of the Lord. Are you having any health issues? Rejoice, be glad, have the joy of the Lord, for that will be your strength, but it will also impact on those around you, giving them strength and access to that God-given stronghold. Let me just finish off with a little bit more from Matthew 25, verses 29 and verses 34, again from the Amplified Version. For to everyone who has and values his blessings and gifts from God and has used them wisely, more will be given. And he will be richly supplied so that he will have an abundance. Then the king will say to those on his right, come, you blessed of my father, you favored of God appointed to eternal salvation. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Amen. Now, it is very safe to say that Marie was indeed someone who was blessed, used her God-given gifts wisely, and has now inherited the kingdom prepared for her and for all of us as Christ followers. So, what, whatever we face, let us remember to rejoice each day, knowing that our joy in the Lord is our strength and our stronghold, so that we can keep wisely using our God-given gifts until the time where we inherit the kingdom of heaven and we are told that we have been good and faithful servants. Thanks for your time today, everyone. May God bless you abundantly in whatever way you need, this day and always, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take care.